Very good. So now we look at a central angle. So here is one central angle, and let's call this, let's just call this angle one. All right. Now I can create a lot of central angles. I can create a central angle, so that's one central angle. I can create one right here as well. And we'll call that central angle two. Right? So you guys see this angle right here? It has a vertex at the center, so it's a central angle. And then guess what? I'll do another angle, three. Yes, I know that is obtuse, right? This is an obtuse angle. Angle three is obtuse, but is that okay? It has a vertex at the center. It's larger than 180, actually. So it's not even, um, it's actually even larger than 180, so it's not even um, past obtuse. But you guys can see that's still a central angle because the basic definition of a central angle is the vertex is at the center, the two sides are the radii, right? And they go through points that are on the circle. So that is a central angle as well. So the reason why I tell you that is the sum of central angles is equal to 360 degrees. So I can say the measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 equals 360 degrees. So the sum of all your central angles add up to 360.